Play viewers, this is the outside of the studio where I work. And this is me. Hi guys, nice to see you here today. I am walking into the studio. Now, I don't normally scope during the day, and I don't normally scope uh, from the studio where I work, but since this is my last couple of weeks at this studio, I wanted to take a chance and uh, show you through. We're actually filming some A-roll today, which is the stand-up part where you talk on screen, you talk on camera and stuff like that. And so I wanted to walk you into the studio and show you around a little bit. I can't give away too much. It's really windy outside, so um, that's why the, the camera's moving just a little bit. It's on a monopod right now. Good morning, morning finishing touch. Nice to have you guys in. So if anybody you know is interested in professional video production, I'm not teaching anything today. I'm just giving you a quick tour around. Feel free to walk through the studio with me. Uh, again, I'm probably not going to do the whole thing, the whole studio. That's not really what it's all about. Um, I, I don't want to give away uh, any trade secrets that the company has here, too. So I want to show you just a little bit of stuff. We're filming some uh, some A-roll with me standing up on camera. No, I'm not going to show you the filming because it's actually part of a contract that we have with an outside company. And so we're going to um, film me on camera but I can't show that on Periscope because it's part of their finished product. So I'll show you the setup, what we're getting ready to do, how it kind of works, and uh, we'll go from there. And again, a lot of this stuff, if you follow Kelby One or Kelby Training, you've worked in film, cool. Uh, if you follow one or Kelby One or Kelby Training, uh, you may have seen a lot of the behind the scenes stuff on uh, various sets and things like that. Um, there was even something that Scott Kelby did a couple years ago, a year ago, that was a walkthrough of the same studio. So I'm not showing you anything that hasn't been seen somewhere on YouTube, uh, but it hasn't been seen necessarily by my audience. And I had the opportunity today to do this, so I'm taking just a quick break from my regular daily schedule and I'll walk you through. I'm on a monopod right now, so let me collapse the monopod just a little bit so I can walk through. And uh, looks like we're losing some folks, so. Not sure what's going on. I got no more hearts and uh, no more. Okay, there's the heart and a comment. Okay, there we go. So I'm going into the studio. Let me let me show you where we're actually going because you don't need to see me while we're doing this. All right, so this is the studio where I work. It's actually really cool and it's pretty ginormous. You miss being on set? Okay, so here's me walking up to the door. You'll see me in the reflection and the little monopod that I have and my key card. There we go. You get kicked out of the broadcast all the time. Okay, so this is part of the video team. And then another part of the video team, these are all the folks that work on my team. So these are the people and the workstations where I work. And so this is all the editing stuff that goes on here where they actually pull all this stuff together. And I'm walking by this really quick because I didn't ask their permission to put them on camera. So I'm going back there. Uh, now, this is a pretty darn cool control room. I mean, it's like a full-blown legitimate control room. A lot of these monitors are turned off right now, but it looks like a newsroom and stuff like that. We run um, teleprompters from here and uh, just a very cool setup and a lot of gear that I don't even know how to run because I don't need to. Um, and then there are a bunch of sets back here. There's actually over here in the next building, this is a still photography studio. Again, the lights are all off here. So this is Photoshop user TV set, okay? And this is photography tips and tricks set. And you can't tell from the glare, but let me see. Get the picture, there we go. Photography tips and tricks, that's this set. Uh, there's the B&H set is way back there. And then right there is another kind of a living room, family room set. And then this is the set that I'm shooting on today, back in here, and I'm guessing let me get to the camera's position so you can kind of see what the camera will see. So this is where the camera is. So the camera's going to see something like this. And I'll be standing on this set in just a little bit. But I want you to see something else because this is really cool. So there are these really bright uh, professional studio lights, things like that. And this light is being bounced onto just a white piece of uh, insulation board. So it gives a nice soft light that's bouncing back. And then over here we have, this is um, a flag. So that's something that's cutting the light or blocking the light. This obviously is a set of blinds, but it's just hanging free. It's free standing, free hanging. And the reason that they do that, they project this light through the blinds. And then see what it does on the set? 
See how the, you have the look in the background, that natural blinds look there in the background? So that's what's going on over there. And it just looks, just looks pretty cool. Yeah, RE lights are amazing. They have a Fresnel lens, uh, incredible stuff, and uh, focusable. And then this one, like this one has barn doors on it. Most of them do. So it kind of controls the light. Great behind the scenes view of the studio. Cool. Uh, yeah, so let me go over here. I'll show you where I've filmed all kinds, and it's kind of in the dark. Any Ditos or Kinos? Yeah, we have some, we have some Kinos. Um, so this is the B&H set, and uh, we've shown this behind the scenes before, every once in a while. And the B&H set looks like the B&H um, store in New York. We actually modeled it after that. And then over here is a ginormous psych wall, short for the word cyclorama, and it's green screen. So there's the psych wall. And then a lot of people watch the grid uh, podcast, and this is the grid set. It's not focusing real well because the light is kind of low back here. So that's the grid set. All right, so, and then we also do some interviews, and there's a little interview sort of set up. So here's the full blown behind the scenes. And yeah, this is kind of cool. And there's my friend David. Say hi, David. Hey You're guys. talking to Help a. My hair. a yeah. yeah, fabulous, fabulous. Um, so there's more studios over there and there's more filming areas and stuff like that. But for right now, this is where we're setting up and we'll be filming in just a little while. Hi, David from Sweden. That's kind of cool. Oh, Sweden. Yeah. All right, so what I'll do is I'll take you into my office up here and we can talk just a little bit and maybe uh, give you some quick Q&A because I gotta deliver the script to my team so that we can put it in the teleprompter so that I can do the script. Oh, and here's one other room, this training room in here. Hang on. Looking for lights, there we go. All right, so this is another uh, training room. I've filmed some classes in here, sitting at this desk. We moved the desk around to different places, and then stairs, and those are prop stairs. Those are fake stairs. I want you to see the sign. Do not even walk on stairs. Do not ever walk on stairs. Don't ever. They are not built to support human weight. Kind of fun. Uh, okay, so that's this, and moving on back to where we were. All right, so is somebody in here? Okay, now this is, this is really weird. I'm actually going to take 52 people who are on my Periscope right now into the ladies' room. I know it seems strange. Let me flip on the lights. So while this is a ladies' room, it's mostly a green room. So right here, we, uh, we get everything ready, all of our makeup. I actually have some makeup in one of these drawers. And uh, we have some costumes and jackets and coats and different things over here. And there's another green room, but this one's just kind of funny. I actually, every time I'm given a studio tour, I take the studio tour people into, a, uh, into the ladies' room. I know it seems kind of silly, right? And then this is my office. And because I'm leaving here in a couple of weeks, my whiteboard is blank. <laughs> and uh, this is, oh, wait, here. There we go. 10 years of service, kind of cool. Just got that recently, and um, uh, so that was kind of cool. Okay, so this is what I'm working on. I'm not allowed to actually show you what's on camera. And uh, let's see, I'm gonna try and figure out a good way to set this up so that you can see what's going on. Um, hang on, flipping the camera around here in a second. All right, so I'm sitting at my desk and I do have to get ready and put on makeup, I think. I don't even think I, I got to go back to the other room and put on the makeup. So I'll do that in just a little bit. So right now you can see I'm kind of shiny, even though I'm not in studio lights. Do you guys have any questions um, while I'm here in the studio? I just want to answer quick questions. So anything that you've got uh, that goes by fairly quickly, fine. Uh, otherwise, I got to get these scripts uh, ready and get going. Hey, Victoria, nice to have you in the house. Um, anything else? Any questions? Any comments? Um, so right now I'm using my Rode SmartLav Plus microphone. Uh, it was a little windy outside. You guys probably heard some of that. That was neat, good. Okay, Daryl, glad to help. Um, okay, so it looks like, uh, thank you. Uh, thanks, Finishing Touch. Thanks for sharing. Have a great day. Yeah, it should be fun, John. Um, we're doing a couple of different scripts. I've written some uh, scripts for instant cameras and uh, instant printers, and the creative team is ready to film that today. And so we're gonna go in and, and do that. Um, what were you using to carry your phone? Oh, good question. Okay, so let me show you. 
because this is actually really cool. It is a monopod, and it's got an Archon mount at the top. I'm sorry, that, that last comment faded before I saw it. Okay, so here's the Archon mount, and it's on a ball head. Okay, awesome mic, good. And then this is a, a video monopod, so it has these little feet. I've got the lock nut turned so that it stays um, vertical. Where is this located? Central Florida, over near Tampa. So this is a ball head, and this is the mount where the phone is um, on the top. And so, flipping it back around, well, I'll actually mount it while you're watching me mount it. Okay, so you can't really see anything. So that's, uh, that's what I'm using. What's my favorite part of working at Kelby? You know, it, there's a lot of stuff, but it's really the people that I get to work with. Uh, the brand of Monopod is a Benro. Um, so I really like the people I get to work with, and uh, I, I love being on camera and uh, doing our videos for B&H, and so today I'm doing a couple more videos for B&H. That may stick. I may be able to stay with uh, doing some of those videos after the uh, studio operations close down here, uh, but I'm not really sure. I'm not sure how that's going to work out. We're still kind of negotiating that and working on it. Yeah, the Benro Monopod, and the model number is A38 Frank David, A38FD. Um, so very cool little monopod, uh, video monopod that could tilt if you have a camera mounted on it or you can lock it where it just stays vertical. Now it's not stable enough that I would trust a really heavy camera like a DSLR just sitting up there and walk away from it. I wouldn't do that. Uh, that's a little bit too dangerous but uh, yeah it's kind of cool. Um, and it's great for this kind of thing because it's a counterweight. Um, is Kelby closing? Is that what your question is, Jazz, uh, Giselle? Um, let me know what your what your question is, and, and we'll go into that. Uh, so yeah, the um, uh, the monopod makes for a really nice platform for walking around. So I'm holding the monopod while I'm walking around with the scope, uh, and it holds my cell phone much more stable, much more steady than a lot of the walk around scopes. They're they're shaky scopes, and it makes me a little bit crazy. Uh, so this was kind of a nicer. Uh, structure, a nicer way to do that. All right, so here's what we're going to do. It is, uh, I put this down just a little bit. All right, this is my refrigerator, and I am thirsty, so I'm getting my, let's see, I'll get a Diet Coke out of here. Get a Diet Coke started. How well counterbalanced do you have it? Uh, there's no counterbalance on it at all. The, uh, yeah, you said something about closing. It is the studio. Yeah, the studio is closing. Um, Kelby is staying in business, and uh, all that is pretty well addressed on the Kelby One website by Scott himself. He talks about how they're restructuring, and uh, um, yeah, it's, it's really actually kind of cool because I'm ready to go on and do some of my own things, and this is just a, a great uh, starting point. It's a great time for me to be able to go do that. Uh, so it works out really well for me. I, I'm, I'm never happy that somebody has lost their job, uh, and there's some of that. But I'm trying to work on ways to help uh, my friends that are here that are working and see if I can't help them find new places of employment and stuff like that. It is exciting, and I do have a new journey going on. Um, so uh, I was in the middle of talking about something else, and I'm, I'm, I don't remember what it was. Sorry about that. Okay. I'm going to have to wrap it up. I don't see a lot of other questions here, so I'll go ahead and wrap things up. And uh, Monopoly, okay? Counterbalance, that's what I was talking about. Yeah, you don't need it. Um, the monopod is the weight in and of itself, and it holds the cell phone pretty well right there at the top. And so I just hold it, I just hold it with my, here, let me, let me show you. Okay, so all I have to do, because this holds the cell phone, and the cell phone doesn't weigh a whole lot, and it's not really that far off balance. When you pick this thing up, you pick it up like this with your fingertips, and see how it just stays steady? It just wants to stay steady. And so the legs are kind of extended right now. You might fold those up and have the weight so it's not quite as extended. But then if you're walking around with this, it's very, very steady. And the only thing I ran into the other night when I was walking my for instance, was the dog leash would occasionally hit the uh, monopod. And then the dog was running and the leash would hit it and then it would kind of, my whole scope would just go Ooh. But it keeps it from being that hand kind of shaky. It's, uh, it's actually pretty cool. 
So it works out pretty well. Um, but that was, that was a great question. Okay, I think we got to cut it off. Thank you guys for hanging out with me for a little while. I hope it does help. I hope it uh, gives you a nice little peek behind the curtain here. And I'm going to save this scope myself so that I have a record of what the studio looked like um, in the last couple of weeks that I'm here. So that's kind of for me as much as for you guys. But I hope you enjoyed it. And I will scope later on tonight. I'm not sure my topic yet, but uh, I'll be back tonight. See you guys down Periscope.